some of the most high-profile athletes in the building tonight. Caden Boozer, Cameron Boozer. This team is incredibly talented. This can go either way. Georgia for the Cam Wilder Classic. It's day two at OTE Arena. It's been a long summer without you, but season three of Overtime Elite Basketball is right around the corner. We're coming back better than ever. We have another great matchup on tap. It's the Boozer Twins and the Explorers versus everyone's favorite new OTE team, RWE. I'm your man, Alex Day, joined by my man, Davis Dodds, and Cam Wilder for day two of Cam in the booth. How are we doing, guys? Man, I'm doing absolutely excellent. I felt great today. I felt better than yesterday. Hmm. We had a gr we had a great day of basketball yesterday. RWE looked great yesterday. Cam, how do you feel about your squad? I liked how they pushed the pace yesterday. They were running, getting out in fast breaks. So I'm so passing the ball like Jokic yesterday as well. Mm. Um, Quan is a great point guard, pushing it up the floor, pushing the tempo, getting everybody in their spots. And of course, Carter Knox, when he's hot, it's gonna be hard to defeat us. Carter Knox looked great. You mentioned Samto. One other guy. Talk about Nate Messia Dio because he was a force all game. Yeah, Big Nate's kind of our do-it-all guy. You know what I'm saying? He could pass. He could dribble. He could dunk, post up, shoot. He's kind of our do-it-all. And especially when he was playing in the NBA for like a week, he's ready. Now, Davis, you also said Carter Knox. You you called him a, uh, a, a Jason Tatum late almost yesterday. Talk about his performance yesterday, what you like from him. Man, I mean, it's just great, it's just great to see how, how well-rounded he is. You know what I mean? I think I think a Jason Tatum comparison is accurate. He looks to be all that. And Cam, you caught up with Tom before. Let's check out that interview. Thanks, guys. I'm down here with Cam Wilder. You got a big game today. RWE against the Explorers. What's the game plan against the Boozers? Contain Cam Boozer. It's always been the been the goal. You just got to contain Cam Boozer. We do that. We'll win by 20. 20. So speaking of that, yesterday you almost gave a perfect score prediction for the first RWE game. So what? Do, Score prediction tonight, is it a 20 ball? So I'm thinking it'll be 67 to 51 RWE on top. You don't sound confident. No, I'm confident. 67 51. I'm confident. <laughs> All right, you heard it there first. RWE going to take down the Explorers, take down Cam Boozer. And Cam, Tom, back to you guys. The Explorers also played last night. They played the Cold Hearts. Exciting game that came down in the wire. The Explorers came up a little bit short. Davis, what do you see in that game? Because the Boozer Twins looked great, but couldn't get it done at the end. Well, most importantly, they just weren't knocking down shots that they, that they normally knock down. I mean, Kade played absolutely excellent. I think Cameron had one of the, the more slow games that I've seen him play, but if they play at their normal speed, mm. they're going to be hard to beat. Not to mention, I just saw them at Chipotle, and they were just they were just pointing at me for no reason. So I'm not going to lie. I kind of hope they get 50 beats, if I'm being honest. Now, it was not a typical scoring night from Cameron Boozer. Caden led them in scoring. Talk about the efficiency and what you want to see from them tonight. I think I just want to see them take better shots in the paint. Like, you know, Cameron's a big, biggest, strongest guy on the court. If he could get to the paint, finish in the paint, I think they'll have better chances. We have the starters coming up next. Explorers, RWE. Let's get to it. For the Explorers, starts with Cameron Boozer, Caden Boozer, but also Jace Richardson, who looked great yesterday. Benny Frigella, a weapon from behind the arc, and Malik Abdullahi, who has really been that third scorer for the Explorers. They're looking to bounce back after a close loss to the Cold Hearts yesterday. And for RWE, Daquan Davis, Darian Sutton, Carter Knox, Nate Messia Dio, and Santo Surreal. That is a scary looking five. I am excited for this game. We got power on power, strength on strength. I gotta ask you guys, Davis, who you got winning? Man, I'm gonna have to go ahead and go with RWE. Cam, do I even need to ask you who you got? You don't, you know who I got. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for tip off. We have Samto at center court. We have Cameron Boozer, the number one player in his class, and we are underway. That's that's the first time I've ever seen that happen on a jump ball. That was a crazy jump ball. 
Man, I'm excited for this game. I think everybody's excited for this game. So we Chad, have. Oh, sorry, I need to on. ask right now. I'm so serious. I need to ask everyone in the chat right now. Type one if you got the Explorers. Type two if you got RWB. Let me know right now, chat. I'm paying attention. And don't switch up. You better not switch up. One if you got the Explorers. Two if you got RWB. All right, I'm sorry to say this, Ham. Wow. Hold right. on. I'm going with the Explorers. Wow. Wow. Because when great players have bad losses, you know they didn't get a good night of sleep. You know they're going to be motivated. There is no way Cameron Boozer enjoyed how he played last night. So I think the Boozer's going to have a big game. I think the Explorers pull off the upset over RWE. Mm. I don't know about that one, man. Y'all might be tripping. It would definitely be an upset, but you can't count out hey, number 12. You look at the chat. I see nothing. I see nothing but two. The whole chat has RWE. Mm. They know like what's going on, man. entire chat. Chat knows what's going on, Listen, man. chat. Yeah. Nothing but twos for RWE. Yeah, they know what's going on. Okay. Hey, now be sure to like up the stream. I see y'all lit. I see y'all super active in the chat. I'm being the chat the whole game. Make sure you like. Every no, person. you're not. You knocked it Tom, out what's going head. on? What, ha what happened on that time? I'm letting you know. Hold on. The player about to, about to throw the ball in and bounds. Your guy knocks it out of his hands. So that's a technical foul. It was an accident. No, there's no accident. No, I, are you sure? Yeah. Hey, Back to you guys. He didn't think it was an accident. Hey, hey great investigative journalism. Hey, how how y'all feel about first quarter preseason technical fouls? I ain't gonna lie. That looked like a straight accident, personally. <laughs> Me, personally, that was an accident. <laughs> so, Daquan Davis, 6 1 guard from Baltimore. Look, his favorite player is Marcus Smart. You know, Marcus Smart might hit the, hand, might hit the ball out of your hands when you're looking to inbound. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Like I said, y'all, be sure to like. I need every single person who's watching right now. I'm paying attention. I see each and every single one of y'all in the chat. Like up the stream. We need a 1,000 likes before the end of the first quarter. This is Malik Abdullahi at the line. 6-7 forward. The Princeton commit. That's Davis with the ball at the top. Carter Knox. Getting things going. Okay. okay. Don't it's a good hit, better. man. That's a good hit. Need Carter to get hot. Exploring, pushing, rejected by Santo. Wow. Got a foul, number two. Cameron Williams says, RWE is always on top, Davis. Excuse me, my fault, sir. My fault. Cam, good call or bad call on Santo? That was a terrible call. That was a block. That was a terrible call. You, you like that yes. shot from Carter Knox, though, huh? Forget, forget all that. Oh, foul. I'm going hey, to have to chit-chat with the ref at halftime. I don't know about that right. one. Listen, listen, yeah, listen, you're going to be the first commentator get back, to get ejected. Stay in <laughs> Go triangle, down history. triangle, triangle. That's Coach Corey Frazier of RWE. Davis drives, kicks back. Carter Knox looking for his. I look mid range. I look at you every time you say Davis. By the way, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Should, should we go Daquan? Yeah, should we go, go first name. Here we go. Big Nate. Carter. Go right. <laughs> go right. Go right. Iverson! I think he Iverson. wants him to go right. I Iverson! Could be wrong. So we have a couple holdovers on RWE from last year to this year. Guys who are at OTE, Sopto and Big Nate. Cam, who are some of the guys on your squad that really impressed you yesterday in your first game? I think Quan Davis really impressed me yesterday with the way he was pushing the tempo, getting everybody involved. Carter Knox obviously is a great scorer. But I think Big Nate kind of doing it all. Definitely caught Take. by for sure. 50, 50, 50. Head it off. Davis on the Explorer side. Good. They had a tough Cut. day yesterday. What are you looking for? Uh, what are you looking for them early here in the first quarter? I'm, I'm honestly looking Move for Cameron, Boo uh, Cameron Boozer. Show, show me why you're number one. Nate off the mark. Caden Boozer going the other way. Drives, throws it up. Oh, man. That's four. Hey, man, come on, man. Cam, Yo. Cam, kind of a late call, no? Yeah, definitely late call. Yeah, what are we doing, refs? <laughs> hey, that talk, was... talk to me on that. I Come got, on, I man. Got, I got it. Come I got on, it. man. Go, go. What's Hayden going on? Hayden Boozer, the number so what, one what point guard in his point? class. 6'5", no tripping. 200-pound guard from Florida, the twin of Cameron. So yesterday I took an Uber 
and uh, and the guy said he dropped that he's a ref at OTE. <laughs> and he, he goes, I've been refing for 30 years, and I'd never had to normally give an interview after giving someone a tech. <laughs> That's just the OTE difference. Oh, yeah. I said, yeah, you just got to deal with it. Go! They're going to start doing it in college basketball, too. Cameron Boozer, first shot of the game. Okay. Talk to me. Smooth 10 to 3. From number 12. Now, if, hey, I don't go. know if y'all can see, because y'all aren't in the booth. I see uh, the slightest bit of fear in Cam's eyes right now. See some fear? Just a little bit. We're definitely coming out very slow. Someone needs to just be a leader. Someone needs to be a leader on RWE. Oh. Hey, ref! You can't just let him do that! Nice finish there from Knox. Davis, what did you say about Carter Knox yesterday? You gave him quite a comparison. I know, it's a, it's a lot of praise after one game, and I, I don't like to usually do that, but I said Jason Tatum. Mm. Now, I mentioned that to a lot of the, the social team at overtime after okay. the game, and they said, that is a good comp. Here's another name for you. Of course, we're talking about another great player, but just a style Go! of play. Rebound! How about Paul Go! Pierce? You know what, Paul Pierce? That's I'm so I'm so I'm so happy you said that because Paul Pierce was my first comparison. Yep. Oh, I just back. think he's a little bit more athletic than Pierce was. Mm. Back but, in the, back but, in the day, Paul Pierce. But, but the thing is, ah, that's a tough one Go. because prime Go. Paul Pierce was not the athletic Paul Pierce. Correct. Prime Paul Pierce was a little bit older. Yep. So when I when I look at prime Paul Pierce. I didn't necessarily say I saw more of just him. A young Paul Pierce, not yeah. a prime Paul Pierce. He was, yeah, prime athletically, but not necessarily prime in the game. I'm with you but, on that. So, I like Paul Pierce a lot, though. That was my initial, initial <laughs> take. But there's no rush. Why would and we got 4,000 in the chat. Hey, I see, I see you guys love to see RWE. You better like up the stream and subscribe. Hey, like up the stream subscribe. So YouTube lets you know next time OTE is streaming. Don't miss out. Hit that bell, cut on notifications. I'm telling you. You're going to be sick. You missed it. That's head coach Andrew Moran of the Explorers. He's led the Explorers to back-to-back -back state championships in Florida. You see him grinning from ear to ear. Not. Explorers going the other way. Boozer, hit me. Caden Boozer has the Explorers up eight early. And Cam, how we feeling? Give me that shit. You know, I'm kind of quiet over here because I'm super nervous. You haven't said a word? Yeah, we're coming out really slow. I, I want to yell at them, like scream. It's just coaching instincts. I think that's what it is. We'll pick it up, though. We'll pick it up. Hey. Let's hear how the Explorers are going to get back on track. Hey, if we're in transition, just go. The next time down, running X. We're running X. Next time down. Yeah, two hands on X. The no-no shirt towards the break. Get the ball and run. Hey, right Thank you, Andrew. Hit his ass. Hey. Yo, they're hitting you. You got to hit back. You got to be physical with them. They want to be physical. It's time to go. Hey, let's get it, fellas. Come on. Let's go. 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 Right, fuck we got to play, We need bodies. I should have never started him. Who's, who's going to guard? Um, G said the fellas might need a backup quarterback, so he will Who's going to play? Who's got 24? What I loved about that huddle, especially on the Explorer side, is them anticipating that RWE is going to come out a little bit more physical. So saying, hey, the RWE team that you just saw, they're going to ramp it up. And oh, oh, my goodness gracious! Stop to wow. on the phone! Wow! That was on Instagram. Sheesh! Overpowered him. That's Caden Boozer. Wow. That rim is still shaking on the other end of the court. Malik Abdullahi. And that's Jace Richardson, son of Jason Richardson. Off the mark there. <laughs> and it's going to stay on that end. So Jace Richardson committed. Look at this. Take another look at the Santa Dunk. Mm. Jace the Richardson on committed K, on Sunday to his father, Get him off of him. Butter, Get off me. That's what Santo said. Get off me. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, then. Cameron Boozer, lift off. Carter Knox, off the mark. 
and Explorers going the other way. Jason, Go on, Davis. Jason Richardson. He's one of those players that has such sneaky bounce, and I think that's my favorite type of player, honestly. Because you, you you think they're going for a lap, and next thing you know, it's a windmill. Now, Davis, Davis. My guy, Jason Richardson, won what? Three dunk contests? 100%. I'm, I'm just saying, it's low-key the gather step. It's the gather step. <laughs> when the gather step looks like it's, it's, it's a layup gather step, and they come up with some something crazy, like, look, look at the show. it up! Mm. Pack it up, pack it in. Explorers up 10 early. Wow. Cam. Wow, it's, Cam. It, wow, this is crazy. Cam. I did not expect this. Hey, 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 production truck, can we turn Cam's mic on here? Can we turn Cam's mic on? Uh, is it on? <laughs> Cam, is your mic on? I don't know what's going on, man. I'm very, I'm very, you know, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. I want you to know, man. I need to be part of that coaching staff. I need the energy in that huddle. And Tom, we have, uh, we have some special guests on the sideline. Don't what the hell is going on with RWE? I'm not playing, so I don't know. Yeah, but you're supposed to be sitting right next to the team, giving them some superpowers, motivating them. Uh, it's all Nelson's fault. It's all Nelson's fault. The only reason it's all Nelson's fault. No, he's not. He's to the damn rack. Stop throwing turnovers, too. Are you saying your team can't shoot? Not right now. <laughs> the Newman brothers out there. Wow. So should we trade some RWE players for the Newmans? Yes. Chat, what do we think? Should the Newmans, all three of these guys, suit up in the second half or second quarter, honestly, at this point and try to play? But uh, would you start? 110%. <laughs> no, ser seriously though, have you ever met the Boozer brothers before? Yeah. What do you think? What, uh, what do they have to say? Uh, wait, what they have? To say? Yeah, what what are they like? Um, I don't know. They they regular people. Which one of them do you like more, Cam or Caden? Uh, they both I. Right. Which one do you like more, Noah? I'm better friends with Cam. Caden and I are cool too, but I said Cam. Can RWE come back and win this game? For sure. That's what RWE does, but it's like a half team. L. Nelson in the chat. L. Nelson in the chat. Back to you guys. Hayden Boozer. Oh, my goodness. Acrobatics wow. completed. What a finish. Cam, what do you want to see from your squad to close out this quarter strong? I would love some pick and roll offense, and I'd love to get to the rim. We're not hitting shots right now, so what do you have to do? You have to get to the rim. You got to mix your game up, switch something up. Wait, yeah. it's the first quarter? And the... Nah, I ain't going to lie. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Bruh. <laughs> what? I don't know how we tell you. <laughs> Yo, bear it's bad early. News. It's early. How do we tell you, buddy? Wait a minute. I need them to win. I don't want them to mess up my flawless pr prediction record. I think the Explorers just have something to prove tonight. Davis to Nate. Uh, I was about to say yes. Euro, and that's a block. Oh, I don't know about that. Block I mean, your charge, Davis. Well, it should be a block every time because charging <laughs> needs to be removed from basketball. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going to start that. And, 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 and <laughs> Cam, Cam, good call or bad call? Yes. Good call. Why, yeah, that's a good call. That was a good, good call. call. Why, why do people, you know, I know why people think they can do it. We just, we just got in front of them and just, no. Yeah, that's, come on. That was a good call. Block. Daquan Davis. He won states last year in Maryland. So we gotta get it off. He might hit that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the bank wow. is open on Saturdays. Okay. Caden Boozer backdoor. Uh oh, time for a run. Accepted. Nate looking to push it the other way. Time for a run. Oh, and Davis bad, throws bad. it away. Explorers out and running. And there's the finish by Randy Smith. Was that, hey, is that selfish or no? Was that selfish? Tyler Jackson. That. Oh, in and out. In and out. Cameron Boozer. We saw a lot of those outlet passes from 12 yesterday. Like we seen it again today. That was the mark, but I really like that. Get to your spot. I would like to see RWE get uh, Tyler Jackson a little bit more involved. He's one of the most he's one of the more prolific scorers on the team. He can score 20 on any given night. I need to give him some more opportunities. Cam, you're telling me how much you like Tyler's energy, right? Yes, I love his energy, especially on the offense, man. When he gets a couple buckets, his energy's through the roof. Man. Tyler has offers from Nova, LSU, Bama, Kansas. Got some blue bloods on your team, huh? How did he make that half-court shot? OKC fan says RWE down bad right now. Hey, I've got a question. Who predicted that? <laughs> 
12 point game early. I know I'm gonna regret saying that. And Randy Smith says, I want more. 15 point lead for the Explorers as we're under a minute left. They're gonna call a charge on that. And that's going the other way. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Not at all. Cam, I, I'm giving you permission. I'm giving you permission to take the headset off and go join the huddle between the first and second quarter, if you'd like. If you'd like. You know, I think Coach Frazier, what he needs to do is he needs to just scream at him. Just yell. Get somebody to get lit, and they'll be all right. Oh, I'm going to let Coach Frazier do his thing. I'm going to sit over here. Chat. We need y'all to like up the stream. We need 1,000 likes. Hey, it's only 20 seconds left in the first quarter. We need 1,000 likes. We need everyone in the chat like it up right now. I'm not going to stop talking to y'all like it. <laughs> hey, if you can't get enough OTE, you got to check out One Shot, the Overtime Elite Doc on Prime Video. Gain all access to your favorite players like Ja'Kai, Eli, the Thompson Twins as they navigate through a professional basketball league to achieve their dreams. Catch the entire series streaming exclusively on Prime Video. It's six episodes. Each one is 35 to 45 minutes. Just start it and you'll finish it pretty quickly. Really great job by the overtime team. You can check that out on Prime Video. Bit of a confusion on the court of what's going on. We got a four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Tyler Jackson, Samto, Darian Sutton, and Jaden Wilkins on the court for RWE right now. Cam, who's taking this? I think uh, I think Hype will take this one. Tyler Jackson. Sudden stutters. Baseline swish. Oh, that was a good head on the baseline. I need that. I say, not only is that is that two points, but that's an energizer. Hayden Boozer, three seconds left. Benny Frigella, cross He's court. Not, He's not, not enough time. We got one quarterback. And that is how the first quarter ends. A surprising first quarter. The Explorers, who lost last night to a short-handed Cold Hearts team, come out flying in this first quarter, up 13 early. Plenty of time left. You know RWE's coming back. Because Cam said so, of course. I hope so. Stick with us. A lot more action coming up next from OTE Arena. I think you have been by far the best big that we have in the league. I don't know if he knows yet how good he is. He's always joking and playing around. I want to be a better life for my mom, myself, yeah. Got to prepare how to be a man, take care of myself and uh, people around me too. One, two, three, eight. There's a lot of the line to lose. Samto, one of the OTE stars, the future Kentucky Wildcat, and one of the stars of one shot. But he's struggled so far early, Cam. Two points, one rebound. You guys need to get him going. No, most definitely. We got to set up a play, get him going. First play of the game, get him inside, set a screen down low, get him open on a post up, let him go to work. They call him Baby Shaq. He looked great last night. He's the reigning OTE Defensive Player of the Year. Had three and a half blocks a game last year. And he shakes the rim on the offensive end. Cameron Boozer on the other side. Six points, four rebounds, one steal. Davis, what have you liked about his game compared to last night where he was pretty inefficient from the field? You know what? He's still shooting the, the rock. But I've seen some nice dunks from him today as well. So I think... I think he's just knocking down shots. It's not like he's being particularly more aggressive. Oh! oh my goodness. On cue. But he's being more aggressive on defense, I'll tell you that. Now, I keep mentioning it, but I think it can't be set up because the Explorers look so good in transition. When there is a miss on the defensive, on when RWE misses, and we saw this last night too, watch Boozer get the rebound and the quick outlet up the court. Oh my goodness. That's two back-to-back -back blocks. And right now, he's just dominating on the defensive end. I think we have Coach Frazier joining us as well. Coach, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Coach, not the first quarter you were looking for to begin this game. How do we write the ship? 
Um, we gotta play harder, man. We gotta play harder. We just gotta play harder. Bottom line, play harder and be more tougher, man. And right now, we're they are the tougher team right now. On the offensive end, how do you find your rhythm? Um, we gotta pass the ball. We gotta act like we know that there's four of the guys on the court and we have the ball in our hands and not take selfish shots. Right now, we're playing one on five. And that's not gonna win us any games. Boozer from three connects. Cameron Boozer with his second three of the game. Coach, you're facing a guy like Cameron Boozer, the number one player in his class. What kind of challenges does that present a defense? It's got to know who you guard. You got to respect your opponent. It's one thing. It's one thing to talk about. It's one thing to be about it. We're not being about it right now. We're not being about it. We're giving them way too much respect, and that's not going to cut it. Caden comes up short. Look at us jogging, right. man. Give me some guys that want to run. I don't care who y'all get in. <laughs> Give me anybody that want to play. Hey, hey Coach, we got I'll five run. guys on one side of the court. Look at that. I'll run. Spacing is horrible this possession. Terrible shot. Santo the rebound. Terrible like shot, man. I like how he's five attempted to dunk everything. Five guys on one side of the court. Five guys was on that side. Five people were on one side of the court. Don't thumbs up. Figure it out. Yes. Don't talk now. Tell everybody to stop. Yes. No, moving. I was telling Listen, people to cut through. Tell everybody to stop. Like, hold your hands up. Stop. Let it get everybody to stop. Coach, I'm going to let you cook. Good luck in the rest of the game. Uh, I'll catch up with it. you later. We are definitely going to need it. <laughs> That's Coach <laughs> Frazier from RWE. A lot of time left in this game. Yeah. 12-point game. RWE trying to find their balance right now. I'm not going to lie. You know, I think, you know, you know I think RWE needs? Oh. oh, wow. You know what RWE needs, right? They also, they need. I think maybe Lamar. Daquan oh, Davis. He got to shoot that. Tyler oh, Jackson. Man. A little out of control. Sabto looking for the open man. Wilkins from the corner. Wow. And one tip back. Sabto and one. And when a big man falls like that, I can't help but hold my breath. Dominate. I know. And he's. Man, dominating down there though. Give him the ball. What a play! Crashing That's, offensive glass. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. That's just a great play. You look at him, and he is by far the most intimidating guy on the court. It's not crazy to say he is one of the most, if not the most, athletic guy at OTE too. 100. percent What's his vert like? 42, 41? That's insane. Yeah, that's something crazy. Got to be 6'10". Like, and the quickness. Tom, what's going on down there? Thanks, fellas. Hey, I'm down here with Explorers coach, Coach Moran. Solid first half so far. How are we feeling? Uh, we're all right. We got to do a better job on the rebounds. So that's killing us right now. They get second chance points. Tough loss yesterday. Are you happy with how your team's responded so far? Uh, so far, yes. What was oh. practice? Ooh, what's happening? Explain to me. Huh? What happened down there? No, nah, I thought Cam was going to fall down. So they went undercut him a little bit. Are right, you talk about Cam? Yesterday, not his best game that you've ever seen him play. I feel like he's turning around today. Hey! What was Cam's mindset going into today? Uh, killer mindset. He's doing. He's going hard as he can. You happy with how he's playing so far? Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Appreciate it. Back to, back to you guys. Coach is locked in. See you guys. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Coach Moran. Boozer's back to work here. Hey, Chad, we need just one more like for a thousand likes already in the first half. I love what I'm seeing. Be, be that one person that like of the stream. Who's going to be that one? Oh, my goodness. Look at the hustle. Look at the hustle from your seven-footer. Come on, man. Daquan Davis loses it look again. At your, look you at the hustle from your star. You need a big man like that. Look at, the, look at your hustle from He's your star cooking. seven foot big You man. need a big man like that. He's going to do the dirty work. Santo Surreal eating down low. Cameron oh, he, Boozer. Uh, uh, is he supposed to be guarding him? Now, now, be on a little run here. Now, Davis, the Explorers have had a pretty cold second quarter. Davis, how do the Explorers get back in rhythm like they were in the first quarter? Hmm. I think you got to take it. I think you got to get the, the Explorers to me since they've been in OT these, these two games I've watched. They're shooting a lot more shots than I'm used to them seeing. I'm, I'm used to seeing them shoot. I mean, they're, they're knocking them down this game. But they're, they're a physical team. Great putback. Great putback by Darion right there. They're crashing the offensive glass, getting those second chance points. Now we got to get some stops. Darian Sutton had a great game yesterday. 
Talk about his game and what you've seen from him. He kind of can do a little bit of everything. He can dribble, he can shoot, he can take it to the rim aggressively. He's kind of like an X Factor, really. If he plays well, I think everybody else will uh, feed off that energy. Hey, on November 17th and 18th, the OTE takeover is back. King of the Court Dunk Show Tray Ball Challenge. A star-studded five-on-five competition. You know we got to do it bigger than ever, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the action. I'm excited, man. Takeover, my very first OTE takeover. I heard it's one of the littest parts of the, uh, the year. I heard Davis. Davis was telling me it was lit. Man, it's absolutely a movie. Like, I had the pleasure of, of beating Duke uh, two takeovers ago. Uh, unfortunately, he beat me last time. But, mm. man, it, it's genuinely, it's genuinely a great time. What's your favorite event in the takeover? Easily the dunk contest. I think the dunk, this is not a joke either. The dunk contest here at the OTE takeovers are the best dunk contest in the world. And I, I agree. stand by that. I believe that 100%. Trey Parker, was that last year or two years ago? That was, last year. That, was that, early was that last year. year. that was early that was last, last year. year. Man, that's good stuff. We have a five-point game here in the second quarter. You feeling a little bit better, Cam? A little bit better. It's a five-point game. I was a little nervous when we was down about like 15, but uh, I think we're coming back in. We're, we're trying to. We're finally figuring out uh, the Explorers and what they do. I think we're gonna come out with this dub, though. I've been told y'all that. I've been told y'all that. I have a question for y'all. All right. Type one in the chat if you want to see Mel. Mm. Throws it. Oh, 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 he smoked it. He's pretty what, 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 Where was the foul there? I want to know. Okay, type one in the chat if you see if you want to see Mel, right? But also. Let's do some investigating right here, chat. Let's do some investigating, chat. It, is that a foul? His back is turned. I'm really interested. I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. I'm really interested to see if that's a foul, though. His back is to the man. Oh, that was a terrible call the by the ref. Can we see a replay? We, we might need a uh, substitution of refs. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see. I, I want to see. He lost the lob. That's not. That's, uh, that's yeah, what I said, yeah. Too. We're playing basketball, man. That's that call. Know, man. We're playing basketball. So just as a reminder, 50, 50. We have one free throw equals two points here at OTE. We want to keep the pace moving. What do you guys think of that new rule? Nice finish there by Sun. I like Sun. it. I like it. Makes, you, makes you lock in, makes you focus. And the chat is very much wanting to see Melo come in the game. We'd love to see it. Is that a foul, yes or no? Eh. Smith from three. Hit me. A high arcing. Rainbow shot from Randy Smith, his third three of the game. And the lead is back up to five. We barely saw any Randy Smith last night. We saw, of course, the Boozers. We saw Jace Richardson. Randy Smith, a quiet, excuse me, a, a loud nine points early in this game. Making his presence known, he hitting a jump shot. One more, he checked. Oh, wow. <laughs> that might have been. Oh, I, I think he got hit where uh, he, where he's got that stomach feeling. Yeah. Foul on Carter Knox there. So Carter Knox, the brother of Kevin Knox. Let's take another look. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. He might, he might have just flopped. He might just fuck. I don't. I mean, if you see the way he was laying down, you see how he is now. He seems upset. That might have not been a flop, but I think the back angle looks a little. You want to ask? Yeah, um, All right, I'm gonna go out there and ask him up here. Right. <laughs> hey, 33. Hey, he seems quite upset about that. I don't know how long we can take though. Yeah, we got we got a lot of time passing here. 33-25, just over three minutes left. It was a fast start for the Explorers, but RWE has settled down. Tom, what's going on down there? What's going on? It was a flagrant one penalty for when he came by, he hit him in the stomach, so that's not a basketball play. What, what player did that? Do you know what number? Yeah, uh, 21. Carter Knox, Carter Knox. Yeah, 21, what? I just wanted to make sure he didn't have a stomach ache. Yeah. What if you just want to like, check if his belly was open? <laughs> That's still a foul. <laughs> still a foul. All right, so we got to play him. Everything else is okay? Yo, yo, yo! Uh, he's running too fast, guys. Back to you. 
I'm curious if this is I feel like this is a flagrant. All right, come on. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a different angle? Because uh, to me, come on. Yeah, Chad, is that a flagrant? I think, I think uh, you can get away with that in the NBA. I'm having, I'm, I'm having a, a little bit of a hard time calling it a foul, to be honest. But I, I don't want to be biased. It's, it's a foul. It's definitely a foul. I, I you, can't, you can't tap him in the stomach after a jumper. You can't see, this is the thing I want to see. Right here. You can't do that. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a foul. Flagrant. That's a foul. That's not a flagrant foul, though. Yeah. Well, I think if you're if that's a foul, then that's probably a flagrant foul. Oh. Just because I mean that wasn't it's, exactly. But I mean that wasn't. It's what the ref said. Where I didn't think that was a basketball move. That's either no foul or a flagrant. You know what I mean? What do you feel? Penny <laughs> with that quick jump shot. Randy Smith being a lot more assertive tonight. He's looking for his off the mark. Daquan Davis Chad the said ball no. the court. Chad says no, that's not a foul. Whoa, 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 whoa. Davis. Yes. For three. A hit. Just how we drew it up. <laughs> the future Providence Friar connecting from downtown. Word said, what are these announcers? Well, my name is Davis. Cam Wilder right next to me. Uh, Alex say thank yeah. you very much. Nice I think if you, you don't, out of the, I think if you don't like that call, then you deserve to have what happened to you, what just happened to Randy Smith. <laughs> Open three in the corner. corner. Wilkins. I can't wait for him to find a shot though. I'm excited to see him play more minutes this year. He was on the Cole Hearts last year. Uh, I'm excited to see him like find his rhythm and routine. Wilkins. Wilkins, you're talking about? Yes. 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 And I mean, last year he gave us an electric moment. Oh, yes. As an eighth grader stepping in, Man. hitting some big shots, had this arena rocking. Yeah. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, guys, I think this is my tallest vibe cam. We got John Bull down here, seven foot two. You're very tall. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys had a great game last night. The Cold Hearts actually beat the Explorers. I'm not going to lie, not a lot of people expected that. Were you, did, you, did you go into the game ready to win? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, every time we go into the game, we expect to win. So, you know, this is a different call hunt. It's not the same as last year. We bring different energy, you know, diff literally everything is different. And what? I mean, like, people don't really, really believe in us right now, but we, we definitely is coming. And last year's Cold Hearts catching a stray. Um, the Boozers, you had a great game last night. I felt like you were really the difference maker. You versus Cam Boozer, you were kind of matched up against him. What, was, what were you thinking throughout the game against him? Shit, I gotta lock it up. I mean, he a good he a good player, obviously. I mean, he can do everything, shoot the ball, dribble, like literally do everything, put on the floor. So I had to contain him at the same time, be able to, you know, contest the shot too if he just pulls up. So um, I mean he a good player. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I was I was I was getting busy last night too. I had, you know, to make him know, let him know that you're not gonna come here and just think it's easy. So yeah. You got any advice for RW right now? Your guys are losing a little bit. They were down a lot earlier, came back. You got any advice for them? No, nah, we're coming back. We're coming back. We're about to be back. Um, we're going, uh, I mean, it's RWE, you know? They always come back. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to win this game. My arm's getting tired because uh, you're so tall, but, that, but that's okay. So you got you, we got Samto, we got Big Job, a lot of big men. Talk to me about some of the other big men in OT. You said what? Some of the other big men in OT. What, what else you got? Um, I mean, everybody OT is good. The bigs, they're good. Uh, it's, it's always a challenge, you know, because some of them, if not most of them, are like bigger, stronger. So for me, I have to usually just use my quickness because I'm most of the time I'm quicker than the person guarding me. I feel like I should be a big man at OT. We're going to throw it back to the booth. Cam Wilder, Overtime Day in Davis. Thank you, John Bull. Back to you guys. I want to say that he is, without a doubt, my favorite person that's gotten interviewed in Overtime. <laughs> I Great think guy. he forgot he was on the broadcast. <laughs> I love guy. that. I love that. We got big bonus here for RWE. Another one. Another one. Quick it's shot. A, no time. Time. Oh, don't, don't, don't go up. What? What's going on? What? Oh my goodness! Come on. What's the problem? What? What's the problem? Tom, I'm gonna need you to find out what's going on. Why does it? Wait. What happened? One possession, no basket. Huh? That's what he said. He said one possession. That, I'm not. Is it? Looks like they're going through with the call. Hey, Tom. 
Tom, what happened there? So, on that, we were told they only get one attempt for that. For that. Oh, on the big bonus. Got it. On big bonus, they thought they only get one attempt. They didn't realize that you could rebound it and put it back. So that basket counts, I believe. Back to you guys. Okay, the basket counts. Yeah, the basket does count. Should have been an and one. Looked like Samson got pushed yeah, on that putback. Yeah, definitely did. Got a two-point ball nice. game and a pretty finish, and we have a tie ball game. I love okay, that. What a Jack. second quarter. What a pass there by Cameron Boozer. I told y'all, man. RWE always figures it out. We always That's figure it out. That help. From the corner, Ooh, in and out. Help. Sutton with the rebound. <laughs> Daquan Davis has man in the air, throws it up, and gets the call. Get giving a little bit of D Wade 2012 vibes, you know? What you know about that? Mm. I know a little bit of it, a little pump fake action. You were younger back in the game. Uh, you, you was even, young too. You didn't even know about you that. You ain't too old now. That was with the A. You don't even know about that. All right, all right. Two big free throws put him in the lead, first lead of the game. Indeed, man. Daquan Davis with nine points. Let's get a quick like spike, man. I need everyone who's watching right now. We are 9.3 thousand deep. Like up the stream, man. We almost have 10,000 people in the stream with only 1.3K. What is y'all doing? I need 1.5K mm. likes right now in the stream. Nah, nah, 100%. We need 1.5K. If you're watching the stream without liking it, it's a problem. Go and hit that like button. Everyone, I'm serious. I mean business. Pounding defense by Davis. I'm just doing my best. Hey, <laughs> great job, Davis. And he forces the turnover. RWE looking to push the pace. I love Davis's energy. Daquan you, Davis and, and, oh. and, and yours, Davis. <laughs> no, I think he was talking about Daquan Davis, not uh, Davis right here. Oh, uh, darn it. Playing all 94 I, I feet, I just don't vocal understand. leader. We're getting fouled on the rebound first, That's and cool. then we push back, and we get it called on us. Hey, this team was going red. Understand? Okay, early and quick. And then if we don't get it, you have to sprint back. You can't just stay and stand. Cam, it was a forgettable first quarter, right. a dominant second quarter. Right. How did your RWE squad mount that comeback in the second? You know, I think it was just you guys saying the Explorers would win the game. Um, it was just, the, it was just a bad energy I, over here hey, that kind of sparked I said, us. I voted for RWE. You know, it's always RWE. Our, our, our logo has always been uh, we come back. You know, uh, we all were second half team. When we lose, we come back. It's just what we do. Uh, we made some adjustments. As you see, the two-point game. Second half, we're going to come out, play really well. We're going to win by 40. <laughs> by 40. Cam, okay, yeah. would you believe this? By I told you 40. This. We were only one like away from 2,000 likes in the first half. Just like that. In the first half, we, if, if just one more person likes, we're at 2,000 likes w in viewers. the first half. W hey, hey y'all look. I appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Davis throws it up. Great take. Great take. Need this free throw before the half ends. And he has been active from the jump. Who's going to be that one person? Let's see. 9.6K. We're almost at 10,000 live viewers. Go ahead and share it to your mama. Share it to the auntie. Share it to everybody. We need 10,000 people in the stream right now. One free throw for two points. Some big free throws right here. 11 points, three steals. An attack for good measure from Daquan Davis so far <laughs> tonight. Two seconds left. Randy Smith. Uh, oh! 
say he might, he might just hit. Here we go. Off the mark. 39-35 at halftime. RWE takes the lead. After a dominant first quarter by the Explorers, RWE storms back. An impressive comeback by RWE. I believe we'll have Samto joining us in just a second here. Samto, you with us? Yeah. Samto, it's a slow start for you guys. What went right in that second quarter? Uh, you know, our coach talked to us, you know, he didn't pick up the energy, uh, you know, just get back in the game, play the right way, and uh, yeah, so far it's been working out for us. Yo, Samto, I know you're locked in on the game right now, but can't we expect a honey dip anytime soon? <laughs> I mean, when I get a chance to do it, yeah, but, but right now my main goal is to win the game, man. Like, uh, I just got this to win, so, yeah. I got you, but if I can do it, yeah, sure, why not? I bet. Going into this game, you see that you're facing off against the number one player in his class, Cameron Boozer. How hype are you coming into this matchup, and how much were you ready for the task? I mean, it's just another game for me, for real. Uh, you know, I don't really care about the rankings. Uh, he's just another dude. Uh, I'm coming here like I face every other game, coming locked in, trying to get a win. Him being number one player, that's good for him. I don't really care about that. Uh, right now, I just want to win the game. I know he was looking forward to matching up against you as well. Good luck in the second half, Samto. Oh, thank you. And uh, I'll send you on your way. That's Samto Surreal. We will be back shortly for the second half. In the meantime, throwing it over to my man, Overtime Tom. Thomas, what's good? Thank you, Day. Cam Davis, great first half. I'm going to throw it over to Bria because I think we got some bowling. Let's check it out. Cam, you might have to bowl with them. I don't know. We'll see. Put his bowling skills to the test with a game we like to call basketball. It's pretty simple. Coleman, every pin that you knock down, you're going home with $10 in OT cash. How does that sound? Good, good. All right, here we go, Coleman. I need you to step up here. Do not cross the line. But you can bowl, yeah, you can start back here, run up to it and bowl, but you gotta bowl. We got 45 seconds. And it starts on the DJ's cue. JMV, it's on you. All right, Coleman, that's like $20 of OT cash. Okay, and 40 bucks. You got 30 seconds left. Okay, that's 60. Okay, this one's getting a little, a little tricky now. Oh, nothing. 20 seconds, 20 seconds remaining. Okay, I see what you did there. Oh, that's three. Okay, that's 90, one more for the win. 15 seconds. Here we go. Oh, help him. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But can we re-rack this real quick? Can I get, can I get Cam? Because Cam still, he won one game today over Sniper. Can we get a, a Cam shot? Cam, you, you think you can knock this down? It's easy. This is easy right here. This is easy. Okay, hold on. Coleman, come here for a second. Come here, Coleman. I need you to give Cam some tips real quick. What can you tell him? Win money. Win money. Here we go. We got OT Cash. 100 already. Cam's trying to win him some more money. All right, here we go. Cam Wilder's gonna win Coleman some more money. Here we go, Cam, you're sizing it up. You can't cross the line. It starts on the DJ's cue. Jay Envy, when you're ready, he can go. Hey! So that's uh, $30, 30, well, that's 40. But how about we round it up to 150 total in OT cash? How does that sound? Sounds good? There we go. Congratulations, Coleman. Dave Care. Appreciate you guys taking part in today's basketball. Jamie, back over to you. <laughs> hey, guys, we're back at the OT halftime show. I got Cam, I got Sniper, I got Nelson. Cam, uh, Snipe, what do you think of Cam's bowling? Oh, man, like it could have been better. You know what I'm saying? The technique was kind of off. It looked like it went a little bit to the left, mm -hmm. but I mean, I, I guess, you know? Uh, Nelson, could you do better? Of course. I mean, that was kind of mid. Uh, yeah. You know, you know me. I, I'm topping that every time. Oh. Got it. Got it. That's Everyone great. in the chat, if you have any questions for Nelson, for Cam, for Sniper, let us know. Uh, some people were questioning if the ice got in the way on that bowling uh, throw. It was a little heavy. My wrist was just a little bit heavy. I couldn't really get the full rotation on it, you know, because it's just so heavy. But um, <laughs> we, I think we did okay. So you were at Icebox yesterday, bought that. Nelson, you went with him. Did he uh, did he get you anything? Nah, he didn't give me anything. Is that what you call uh, a match? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty expensive in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snipe, talk to me a little about that first half. 
Our guys here, they're, they're happy because RWE's up, but do we think that's going to continue? Hey, I don't know, man, because they were down by a lot. But right. I'm going to tell you one thing. Santo is showing his presence in this game, not to mention Daquan playing both sides of the ball. I think they're doing a good job. I would say this. Nate just got a calm down on, 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 on the turnovers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. If, if he can do that, I think they win the game. Cam, if you were in halftime locker room right now and you were talking to your team, what, what would we be saying to him? Uh, like the PG version. So being the excellent coach that I am, <laughs> I'd be screaming at him for sure, probably cussing him out. Tell him they need to play a little bit better. I think the inside game, playing inside out is what's mm -hmm. working. Okay, we got to be a little bit more aggressive with Cam Boozer, make sure he's off his game. All right, and we'll be okay. I love, I love the play from Quan though. Quan's playing great right now. I love it. We up by four. We were down what? 10, 15 points. Yep. yep. And we're always the second half team, so we're gonna blow this lead open. We're gonna win by 20. We're gonna get out here with a W. So that's what Coach Cam would say. We're gonna hear right now what Coach Frazier would say. We're gonna head to the RW locker room. See what he's telling his boys. Here we go. Did he say win by 20? Hey, listen yeah. up. Listen up. Listen up, everybody. Uh, defensively, we gotta do a better job. Number one, if you stop the ball, the transition doesn't happen. Everybody understand that. Second thing is this. We get a steal and layup, we have to capitalize. We have to get to the basket, we got to finish. Um, but I'm going to say it, because y'all know I don't know no other way to do it. Carter, look at me. Nate, look at me. Look at me. Y'all two, when y'all two join the party, we're really fucking good. But when y'all two got some other agenda, I don't know what it is. It might not be personal, it might be just you pressing, trying to go get a bucket. That's cool, but do it in what, what, what we're doing. Right now, y'all look like a bunch of individuals. Am I lying? Let's talk about it. I want what's best for you, but y'all ain't got to go get it by yourself. It's going to happen. The ball will come back to you. I got him to stop doing crazy stuff. The ball comes back to him. Stop doing crazy. The ball comes back to you. He's going to get it out the mud. I'm not drawing a play for him right now. None. But he's going to get it out the mud. Playing his best defense right now. He ain't hitting shots, but I feel with him taking those shots. You know why? Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with his defense. It's his preparation. You know what his preparation is every day? At Jay Wilkins, what is your preparation every day? A lot. I'm good with him doing that. I'm good with him doing that. I'm good with him doing that. He's got one job. Shoot it. What's the other job? Defend it. So we got two. All right, guys. We're with Coach Frazier in the locker room. Now, before we left, we heard what Cam would say. Nelson, is that true? Was, was, was Nelson, you played for him. What would Nelson say? What would Coach Cam usually That's say at halftime? He would probably be cussing us out right now. <laughs> that, that's what he does. Yeah. All right, now, talking about the first half a little bit. Remember, ask some questions in the chat if you got anything for all of us. Santo, you talked about him a little bit. Yeah, man. Santo has been always, Santo do what he do. He's yeah. going to play defense. He's going to play offense. But it's the extra. Diving on the floor for loose balls. I mean, he everywhere. And if Santo doing it, he set the tone for the rest of the team. You got to follow up and do that, too. Got it. And Caden Boozer, I know you're an RWE guy, but Caden, everyone talks about Cam being, like, the top player in the country, but Caden seems pretty tough. You like him? Yeah, I love Caden Boozer. You know, Cam's usually the headline guy. Everybody talks about Cam. Caden kind of falls below the radar. But Caden is as, as important as Cam is on the floor. He's a true playmaker. He can shoot the rock, take it to the rim. He does everything for them. Feels like you're recruiting him to RWE. I might be. I won't say I will, but I might be. I seen him slip a note before the game. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know what it said. but I so did. Yeah. Uh, people want to know, Mr. Showtime, Nelson, this is for you. Are you guys, is RWE ever going to come to Mississippi? Mississippi. <laughs> um, What's in Mississippi? Yeah, I got guess there's Hoopers out there waiting for you, bro. Isaac, hey, if there's Hoopers down there, AV, it's up to camp. Isaac Jordan wants to rate you to rate Nelson's Riz 1 to 10. Nelson's Riz 1 to 10. I'll tell you what. Nelson got one of the best Riz games. His basketball game's not too well, but his Riz game's really up there. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. W Riz. Yep, yep. Yeah. W Riz in the chat. Now, we're going to talk to LeVar in the third quarter. Any, anything that we should ask LeVar a little bit later? Uh, How old is he? Yeah, definitely ask his age. <laughs> um... Ask if he has any gray hairs growing. Um, and ask if he should be on the floor right now. How many points would he score if he's on the floor right now? I, I, I want to know. I think, I think grand, he have 20. I think a grand, I think he has. A grand total of seven. Sniper, uh, you were talking to me before. You said that you would love to play for RWE this spring. Is that true? Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I think they can definitely use what I bring to the table. Uh, I, I can be like the Udonis Haslam okay. of RWE. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what the D. Rowe wants to know. Nelson. I'm a fan from Hershey Park with a little baby shirt. You took a picture with me. What would you rate me a 1 to 10 with my wrist? 
Wait, say it again? Never mind, forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's um, why, that's why, that's why. <laughs> yeah, support her. I remember Hershey Park oh, out there in Pennsylvania. We remember you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, L. Nelson. Nebs. Nebs wants to know, at any point, Cam, do you think we'll get you on the sideline coaching a game this year? You know what I'm saying, man? You just call me, let me know, and I'll coach a team to victory because that's what I did. Five championships in the summer, I could do it here, Talk man. Talk heavy. Talk heavy. I like that. Five championships, my whole hand filled up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you did lose one, right? I don't, All right, I don't, back the oh, day. We got oh, second no, half crazy. coming out. That's great. RW that's is winning. Back. Let's see if they can hit, take it home. Cam's going to be back in the booth. We're going to go hang out somewhere else. Peace. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Sniper. Thank you, Nelson. Davis, how are we doing? Man, I'm excited. I, I just want, I'm excited about this game. These are two good teams that match up very well. It feels like the first quarter was one game. The second quarter was an entirely different second game. What are we looking forward to in the second half? I'm telling you, I've been saying it this whole time. Cameron Boozer's having a lot better game. I want to see him just be a bully. I saw him be a bully last, last year. year. Right I saw here. him be a bully. Yep. I want to see him just disrespectfully, mm, kind of like I did Cam that one time. Like I just want him just, boom, get into it. Straight lays. I don't remember that ever. Yeah, it happened. I, I don't. There's, there's, there's I actually there. don't think so. That's happened. Wow. Cam, what are your expectations for RWE the second half? I'm expecting the energy to be up, and I expect them to take it to the rim unlimitedly. Okay. I need them to take it to the rim. I need the energy to be up because we're a second half team. Make some small adjustments. I expect Karnox to come out, hit some shots, get his game going. We'll win this game by a lot. It says a lot about your squad, how they came back in that first quarter because they were looking pretty dead in the water. Good resiliency from RWE. I'm excited for the second half. Cameron Boozer, Caden Boozer. This Explorers team you know is going to come out swinging early in this third quarter. Excited to see what we got going. 100%. Is anyone changing their predictions? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm sticking with RWE. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I like my prediction, being like my prediction since I woke up this morning. I'm 2-0 and on predictions this this season. I'm going to go to the 3-0 and tonight. I, I, You know, I got to stick with the Explorers. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have to. You're, you're, uh, you're well, I think we have Tom down there with us. No, no. Tom is not down there with, but we do have Monica, which is Romello's mom, courtside. Hopefully we get to see Romello tonight. We saw him last night. Yeah. Romello's a good hooper, man. Hey, Young Cam, hey Cam, do you see a sign over there? I think I do. It says, uh, what does that thing say? I, I, it says, hate. I hate Cam Wilder. Yeah, I don't know who that kid is. I have Weird to energy. Agree. I don't really like him. Um, I have but to agree a little bit. I think someone should go over there and rip that whole poster up. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even disagree with the guy. Not, oh, you can't? Not, not the biggest Cam Wilder fan. Kind of weird. All right. Cameron Boozer with 11. Caden Boozer with 8. And the Explorers are back to work here. Also, shout out Malik Abdullahi, who also has 8. Number 24. All right. Cameron. I see Carter in the chat. He said one here shot was... Here we go. Carter in the chat said one shot was really good. Keep it up, OT. Man, it was, it was really phenomenal. I, I enjoyed that. I've been watching it. Davis, your broadcast calls were great in the doc. Thank you, man. I really appreciate I, it. I enjoyed watching, and then all of a sudden, you and I were on the call. And yep. it, hey, look, Ma, we made it. <laughs> Samto gets the board, oh, goes up strong. Yo, that, you see, that? I'm telling you, it's all about the gather steps. He would have been able to convince me he was about to windmill 360 over him. Are you jumping with that? No. I'm not either. As, as much as I joke, I'm not even joking about jumping with that. That's how you end up on a wallpaper and everywhere in the world. Just ran into a truck. Samto Cyril, 6'10", 240. This was the shot by Cameron Boozer to kick off the half. That is a smooth looking stroke from the outside. Yeah, see, you have you really can't do anything when Samto's going up. Cam Boozer's jump shot does look a lot better today. All right, chat. Type one, if you still got RWE, in the second half, type two, if you got the Explorers. Caden Boozer. One for RWE, two for the Explorers. Benny has not been shooting well this season so far in, in OTE. Let me see. RWE is one, two are the Explorers. Let me see what you got. They got the music bumping in the arena. Oh, Carter Knox. That's a tough shot. It can go pinch him. Sudden big boying him. Oh, Throws man. it away. 
Richardson pushes. Cameron Boozer pumps once, dishes. He's Benny Prigella. He's got not one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's, been off. He's, he's been off the, these past two days, man. You got to find that jump shot sooner or later. Davis, last year, Benny was on fire. I Just thought we four were point, see a four point, four point, four point. Yep. He looks a lot taller. Shot not dropping up. Respectfully. Respectfully. The whole chat is saying, great whole chat is saying, they got RWE still. Samantha, Mason Hoops, Hudson. I see nothing but RWEs in the chat. I see y'all. Be sure to like the stream. We are officially 10,000 deep. Abdullah, he, he hasn't made that mid-range not one time this whole game. I keep letting him shoot. <laughs> He's got eight points, but he has been cold from the outside. Wow, and just like that. Sudden. Back to Daquan Davis. Looking for the pick. Gets it. Dishes. Big uh -oh. Nate. Oh. Is that not enough? That could have been an and one. That could have been a four point for sure. Nathan Messia Dio. He has added that to his bag this year. <laughs> you know what's interesting? What? Yeah. This is going to be random. There haven't been any, like, Four point, like, huge recently. Y'all remember yep. in like 2012, okay. like Jamal Crawford just randomly got really good at that? He was seeking it. He was like seeking it. Oh, it's because his jump shot had the, the feet kick at the bottom. Yeah, that's feet kick. That's what it was. He's kicking the foot out. And then everyone started doing it. And, and then, then they, patched it. they patched it. And then they said, cut that out. Yeah, that's probably why they patched it. Okay. I was wondering what. Wow. So wow. Hey, you, hey, I'm not going to lie. Respectfully, he messed up his mixtape right there. That would have been in the Santo mixtape. Jace Richardson a little gimpy after Chat, that one. Chat, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that, that's a foul. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some need to see some W's in the chat, man. We got 10k in the chat. Spam out W's. It's super lit in here. Let's do it. I see you, TPG, Randy, Coconut, Johnny, GSO. I see all y'all. Spam out W's in the chat. Big 10k. Like up the stream. Let's do it. Love it. 10k. Keep sharing it to your moms, aunties, fathers, cousins, uncles, aunts, all of them. Cameron Boozer up to 16 points. I like, I like how he's playing right now, honestly. He's coming out a lot more aggressive in this second half. Look, if you're the Explorers, you can't come up here to OTE and go 0-2. I think he's going to take this. Oh, and one. Carter knocks his other player. Wow, what a layup. That's a way to make up for the miss. That was great body control right there. Carter Knox, the 6-6 forward from Tampa. He won gold for the U-17 USA team. His brother is Kevin Knox out there in Portland. Former New York Knicks. I see you, Sophie. Richardson. Isaac, I see y'all in the chat. Uh oh Carter Knox. Knox to Daquan Davis. Wide open, give me. Oh, you need that. Good rebound, Carter. Oh, good defense. I mean, these teams are, are so evenly matched. Jason Richardson. Six point game halfway through the third quarter. Explorers are going to slow it back down. That's Caden Boozer. Oh my. Off the mark. Caden only has 10 points so far. I'm looking for him to get it going a little bit too. Oh. Points not bad so far. Quiet 10. Quiet 10. Oh. How do we feel about that, chat? Be honest. They've been calling a lot of good call or bad call. Calling a lot of them. I, I, I wonder how people feel about that. I, I, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Very questionable. Benny from three, and finally gets one to fall. Let's see if that gets him going. We have a three-point game here at OTE Arena. Benny's first three of the weekend. He's one for 11. But you know what? They need his outside shooting because he can really stretch the floor. Daquan Davis. Wow. Shaking the rim. The tank down there. Man, you're a great GM, man. Richardson. You're, you're a great GM. Thank Benny firing. Uh, one for 12 now. He's actually now one for 13. I was wrong. Oh, wow. I know. <laughs> See if he gets going. That's Nate Messia Dio. Oh, 
Sneak, Sonto at point guard. Oh! Did he switch hands? see Sonto tough calling up five? Okay, Jokic. Nathan was the The point five. Sonto with authority. Big Nate trying to end careers in the next position, too. Take a look at this, Cam. Oh, he could have finished that with a little slap. Got to finish through that contact. I need that done. Wow. We have Tom standing by with our sixth fan of the game. Thomas, what's up? Great. How are you? Hey, doing well? Yeah, I'm doing great. Awesome, man. Hey, are you an RWE fan? Yeah. We were talking a little bit before this. I got to know. Who do you like more, Cam Wilder or Nelson? This is also for the chat. Cam or Nelson? Uh, probably Nelson. <laughs> Smiling real big saying that. Why? I mean, it's, it's hard. It's a hard decision. So I, I think I got to go with Nelson. All right, and OTE out here. Who's your favorite player at all of OTE? Uh, probably either Ja'Kai Howard. Ja'Kai Howard. What do you like about his game? I don't know. I just like how physical he plays. And I like how, how much hops he has. He has a He's got a lot of bounce. Now, you said you play basketball, too. What's your game like? Describe your game. Uh, probably just defense. I'm really good at defense. But I, I'm more of like a physical player, too. That's why uh, Jakai is my favorite player. Awesome. And we were talking earlier. Neither of us have had dinner tonight. Chad, help us out. What should we eat for dinner? And also, what are you thinking for tonight? What should we, what should we get? What you say? What should we eat for dinner? Um, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, very good answer. And now, last question here. You told me you don't have a Halloween costume yet. Halloween's coming up in a couple weeks. You gotta have some ideas. What are we thinking? Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna be Batman. Oh, Batman. I could be Robin. Uh -huh. Cam Wilder could be Robin. Yeah, you could be Robin, you know. You could be Robin. I'm better than Cam Wilder at basketball. Awesome. And hey, this game is close right now. 50 to 45, I believe. Who do you think is going to pull it out? RWE. What's the score going to be? Uh, uh, like, like 81 to 76. All right. I hope you're right. RWE trying to bring it out. Paul, great job. Six man. I'm going to go look at my kidney that I got need in. Back to you guys. All right. See ya. Thank you, guys. Nate Macia Dio at the line. I'm going to be honest, Cam. Yeah. Get back. Let's talk about it. That kid said he likes Nelson more than me. Mm, that's crazy. And then he said he beat me one-on-one. -on -one. He's better than me at basketball. I don't disagree on that. Uh, okay. Um, I've seen your one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I don't know. Something about that kid we don't know about. We'll figure it out later, though. I don't know. Nah, I've seen your one-on-one -on -one game. It's not the best. But, I mean, wow. talk to that kid, yeah. Okay. Boozer spins, goes up. That's nice. He'll go to the line. I don't know about that foul, man. Caden's being a little aggressive. Quad's being a little aggressive on defense. I don't know. Mark your calendars. December 1st, OTE Season 3 officially begins. I can't wait. Samto, Trey, Eli, Takai, so many more players striving to become OTE champs. City Reapers last year. Let's see who it'll be this year. The journey begins December 1st only on Prime Video. Appreciate you guys tuning in with us on YouTube tonight. We have a great game. This is the final game of the Cam Wilder Classic. Well, Cam, what is it? The Cam Wilder? The Cam Wilder Big Bash Invitational Jamboree Showcase. That, that, whatever that was. That's what that is. <laughs> it has been a great weekend here in Atlanta. We still got more action left. RWE seven point lead. That's Caden Boozer. Physical, physical, physical defensive possession. RWE, upset. Hey, potentially into this fourth quarter. I'd be able to make it double digits. Wide oh, open. Nice. Right there. Oh, yeah. Can't leave him open. Can't leave him open. Pretty shot from Knox. Benny with the answer. Oh, good. RWE looking to push the pace. Every time Daquan Davis gets it, he's going full speed. Literally. Love his energy. I, I, I definitely don't have a problem with that. Cam, we haven't seen a lot of J-Jack 99 tonight. Oh, man. Oh, man. Great extra. Great extra. Oh, we look great today. What did I tell you? We look great today. Hey. 
up to 60. Oh, oh, I'm not going to lie, he could have got four right there. He, 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 where's the foul? He could have got four right there. Benny Frazella getting it going. He Best is, said, I got you next time. <laughs> he is two for 15 on the weekend, and we have a defensive breakdown. Jason Jackson on three. Jack Frost, give me three. Just when you say we haven't seen much of Jay Jack, here we go. The Ole Miss commit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, sorry, go on. They gotta give it to Benny again. I think you have to. Because Ref, ref owes him one. <laughs> Cam, what was it like having Jay Jack on your it's team raining. over the summer? Say that again? What was it like having Jay Jack on your team over the it summer? It was great. I love having him bringing around everywhere. He's a great kid. He has great energy on the court. Very aggressive. I love his defense. His defense was my number one thing. I needed some defenders, and he was the first person I had to call. Love having him around. Randy Smith at the line. RWE has extended this to a 13-point game. Make it 11 now. Impressive third quarter here. Shot clock is turned off. RWE looking to extend before the 12 minute fourth quarter we have coming up next. Oh man, this is great basketball here. Dave Juan Davis, Carter, Carter Cox. He's feeling it. Short, Three seconds. one second, gotta here we it, go. Gotta let it fly. Oh! We Off the rim, RWE extends to an 11 point lead. Exciting game, exciting quarter. I can't wait for this fourth quarter. Boozer starting to get it going more in the third quarter. We saw a lot of Samta. We saw RWE start to flex here in the second half. Much more to come. Stick with us for the fourth quarter. It's just a mini NBA playoff game at all times. When the check riders in the building, you got to punch the clock. It jumps up another 15, 20%. Cam, let me ask you, your squad has pushed it to an 11 point lead. What are you expecting here in this fourth quarter? I'm expecting Quan, our leader, point guard one. Keep pushing the tempo, keep taking it up the floor. Surrounding Caden, surrounding Cam on the defensive end. We're gonna pull out this dub by double digits. <laughs> Davis. He made it! <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. He just hit that half court shot. We're wow. gonna see a replay of that. At the buzzer. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to him because those first couple half court attempts were were about 10 feet short. Wow, that form looked pure. <laughs> Woo. I might need him on RWE. Hold on one second. Hold on. Someone get his name. Wow, mid season recruiting. Mid season recruiting. Showing you don't really trust your players. Huh? Wait till I tell them. I don't think that's what it was. Davis, how do the Explorers get back in this game in the fourth quarter? It's only 11 points, but right now the momentum is with RWE. You know what? I'm gonna have a different. I'm gonna have a different answer than Post and, and inside. I'm gonna say defense. I think that RWE. I think we have found our way on the offensive end. Like I just said, we. we. Did you we. say we? We have found our way on the offensive That's end. That's crazy how you say we. I don't think you're a supporter of RWE. You like cold hearts more. Do you not? Okay. Oh. Do you not remember that I'm supposed to? You know nah, what? Right. Davis. You know? Nah. That's yeah. crazy. Chat. Am I allowed to be an RWE supporter? I believe I am. Tyler Jackson. Stefan says hello, Cam and Davis. Hello, Stefan. Hey, Stefan. Carter Knox. Wait a minute. Oh. We're only 17 likes away from 3,000. That's control. crazy. But hold on. This is even crazier. Never mind. It was, it was nice. It wasn't that crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. I expected a, you know, it, it, doesn't, it didn't have all the time, though. Nine point game. We're 17 likes away. I have to be a part of those people like the stream, man. Thank you. Oh, block from oh, behind Abdullah. Now, there's some games where you just don't have it and you need to get yourself back in it. Jace Richardson looked like arguably the best player on the Explorers yesterday. He has no points right now. If you're him, how do you get yourself back into this game to give your team a shot? I don't know. That's a good question. Because I, I don't even think he's been taking bad shots. They're just not going in. And it happens. It happens. 
12 for Caden Boozer, 16 for Cameron Boozer, 10 from Randy Smith, number 33. He's been a nice surprise today, especially from behind the arc. Caden dishes, throws it away. Carter Knox pushing, loses control, oh, wow. goes up, blocked, and finishes strong. No, he's strong. He wanted that bucket bad. See why I'm Tatum. Outlet to Benny. Caden Boozer spins, goes oh! up. That was nice. Nifty move from Caden Boozer. Okay. Wow, that was tough. I'm gonna need to take another look at that. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah, now this should have been that one, but if you're gonna call it flagrant, it's the one that just happened right now. This is a great move. Now, he got his stick. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got hit from both sides. He got jacked. Lady Boozer with 14 and seven, looking to make this a 10 point game. Reminder, 12-minute quarter. Blade in the chat said, hey, Davis, can you dunk? Yes, but I don't like to show that many people. I don't like to do it on, I don't like to do it that much. I only bring it out on occasion. Nah, I don't think you can dunk. I don't know about that one. A lot of people. Actually, I don't even think you touched the net. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Next Daquan Davis, great pass. Darren Sutton passes on the open three. I believe we have three seconds on Samto. Hmm. Ten point game still. Not over. I would like to see Sutton shoot that. I would love to see him shoot that. You can't pass up a wide open three. He's got offers to Michigan, Kansas, Ohio State, Georgia Tech. Jay Jack pushing the other way. Hey, 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 Carter Knox. He's shown today. He showed yesterday, but he's shown today why he belongs at the top, man. Yep. A great contest from Santo. Push the pace. Just being intimidated right there. It's time to open it up. It's time to open it up. Davis. Oh, man. Oh, pops. That's how you open it up. Uh, Gets his own board. It's money Kicks. time. Money time. JJ. JJ stepping it up today. It's about that time. Stepping it up today. Randy Smith hustling back on defense. I love it. Hey, chat, if you're, if you're an RWE fan, it's a good time to show some W's in the chat. Yes, sir. Spend the W's up for J Jack, y'all. RWE legend right there. A frantic pace here in the fourth quarter. Take a look at this alley. You Carter Knox, man. Great pass. Look at this. Way to be ready to shoot, knock it down. We've seen some defensive breakdowns from the Explorers, and RWE's making them pay, especially from, the, from behind the arc. Oh, the nah, I caught her one more time. Keep leaving him open. In and out like a relationship. Here we go. <laughs> Here, Bria, our in arena host. Oh, look at look at the W's. Look at the W's. I've look at all those W's. I've never seen this. W J Jack, man. W J Jack. Gotta love those R W E alums, legends. So, Alex, quick question. I remember uh, at the beginning of the game, you Boozer. said that the Explorers are going to win by a lot, actually. Um, what's going on? You know what? Here's what I'm going to say. Okay. Because I think Davis has talked about this a little bit, too. Uh -huh. Great players take it personal. Yeah. And I would have liked to see Cameron Boozer take this one a little more personal oh, after yeah. the loss yesterday. You would think. I would like to see him be a little bit more aggressive. I feel like a, a, other people are shooting just a little bit too much. To be a, a five-star, number one in your class, you need to take those shots. I, I expected him to take this game over a little bit more, especially after the loss. I actually don't think the Explorers are playing that badly. I think RWE looks great. Davis, I agree with what you said, that the Explorers' defense is letting them down big time. 100%. It's just breakdown after breakdown after breakdown. Three-pointers. I mean, Cardinox, how many open looks has Cardinox got this game? A lot. I'll tell you that. It's a lot. Now, let me ask you. Oh. The Explorers have won back-to-back -back state titles, so obviously, you know, they have a good construction of this team. Do you think if they had someone bigger that could play down low and let Cameron Boozer kind of get away from under the rim a little bit, whether that's on the offense or defense. Do you think that would let him take over a little bit more? I think so, yeah, honestly. Sure. Yeah, for wow, sure. Wow, that's a good, good take. Because he's, he, I mean, 
he's got to deal with Samto under the rim. He's got to deal with all these centers that all these great centers that we have at OTE. No, that's a tough task, especially on the defensive side. He hasn't been as assertive on the offensive side. Obviously, still having a great game with 16 points. Mm -hmm. We got number 15. Cam Boozer looks like he's getting a little bit of a break right here. It's a great time for RW to go on a run. 13 point game, with just over nine minutes remaining. 2 3 zone by the Explorers. RWE taking the air out of the ball right now. Samto. Samto again. And he'll go big. big. Tell you, take advantage of Cam Boozer not being out and go down low. Bully ball from Baby Shaq. Now, I feel like, and just a little bit, Match up now. Match it should up. be mellow time. It's looking like Mellow Time might be coming up very soon. Mm. Chat, how, how would y'all feel about Mellow Time, chat? Be honest with me. Chat, spam up the Mellow Time if you want to see Mellow. We see some. It's time for a little Mellow. Oh, nice cut. Nice finish. That's such a hard, uh, such a hard leg. We get beat on Hey, Nate, 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 get that. Triangle. Triangle, slow down. Quan Davis. Look. look. The Carter Knox cross court. Darren Sutton cross court. Two seconds left on the shot clock. I think that's offensive. Blocking. Oh, it's here. Oh, you know how. Oh, he's he's saying restricted area yep, in the restricted area. I don't care how long it takes. They go back to I really want Melo. I see it. You guys set up in uh, Tiger. And listen, you probing. Look. That's something wide open in the back side. Hey, hey. They go zone. We're going to Tiger. All right. Hey, and you got Darion was open in that middle. Just throw it over top so he can turn and go. But it's going to be, hey, it's going to be him now. But go back, go, listen, go triangle, guard side. Davis, how do you feel about some of these play calls by uh, some of these coaches' names? Tiger. Tiger. How do you feel about Tiger? Oh! Oh! Looks like it's working. Tiger was a great under, play, under, great name, under, everything. All under. right. Talk to him. <laughs> okay. I like Tiger. So. And it's up to a 13 point game. Benny Frigella. Cameron Boozer, Caden Boozer, oh, knocked out. Tough. I like that. Nice ball movement by the Explorers. We have an 11-point game here. Triangle, cut through, cut through. Explorers will not go away. Triangle, triangle. They're calling triangle Turn to your now. side. Turn the rip, go this way. That's Coach oh, Frazier oh. in your ear. Oh, my goodness. That's such a pro shot, though. don't know how to play basketball, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a great shot. Cameron. It was a great shot, too. Foul by Samto. That, uh, that's what I want to see from Cameron. 100%. Just get to the basketball. He said he just don't know how to play basketball. <laughs> it was a pretty looking shot. It was very pretty. Not a high percentage shot, but it looked good. It looked good. Take another look at the Samto zone. We good on this lineup. <clears throat> okay. Samto having a monster game today. Hey, can you guys uh, in the chat do me one favor real quick? On your triangle set. Samto, are you getting behind your guy? No, I'm saying, are you, your man is showing, right? When we go to Samto's side, we're coming off. His man is literally here. They're trying to contain you. You know what I'm saying? You got a pro, 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 pro. Stay here and hold your man. Got it? Then you right, pop. Probe. And if they can't get it, pull it out and get him here. But you got to look, probe, probe, and get him one. Got to keep him honest. Listen, they're not helping on that backside. Oh, oh, sit, 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 sit. I'm 
Yeah, you're gonna throw it to him, then he's going through, and then he'll throw it to Cam. But when you, when you throw it to him, walk up to the three-point line, and then go when Cam gets it. Go, Chase, come on. What's going on, everyone? I'm down here with a fan favorite, Lavar. You got the Newmans dancing in front of you. They're not—they're not very good at dancing. Yeah, they need to stop. Like seriously, like stop, stop. They need to stop. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. You couldn't teach them how to dance better? Yeah, for sure. I got the moves. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Hey, there you go. There you go. All right, RWE right now. We're winning. But does it feel like it's over yet, or are you not comfortable yet? Um, I don't think we should get comfortable. But if we keep playing like how we playing, we good. And you're sitting right next to the bench. What do you think about the vibe over here? Coach going a little crazy. Players going a little crazy. The the coach is intense. Like he 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 been tweaking, but for a good reason because they're winning. W coach. W coach. W coach. Unlike Cam, right? Yeah, Cam is the worst coach ever. Uh. This coach is way better, by far. A lot of people have said that you should take over RWE this spring for AAU events and that you should coach and Cam should just stick to GMing. That's valid, because I feel like I could coach the team way better. Right. Player coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Now, people want to know, how many points would you score if you were out here today? What's the, what's the stat line today if you were out there? Um, I must say 15 and 8. I like that. It's a very calm, smooth, smooth stat line. I like that. Some little calm, cause you know I gotta get everybody involved. It's a bunch of better, like good, not better players, but like you know what I'm saying, good players. And um, it ain't my show, so I gotta pass the ball. So yeah, I'm gonna say 15 and like eight. But you said there's no better players than you. Oh no, no. <laughs> who from RWE here has it? Is there anyone here who has you know you're impressed by? Um. All of them, some so definitely some so because he's been dunking like crazy. Yeah, he would dunk on you. Yeah, um, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I definitely agree. Would you have the most bounce in OT? No, but I would be up there. You, Trey Parker, Ja'Kai, Samto. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And JJ. Eli Ellis. Oh, wait, what? Eli? He got bounce now? Yeah. Win. He got good bounce. What about Nelson's bounce? One to ten. What would you rate it? Uh, um, negative 50. Nelson, what's the vert looking like nowadays? Like 50 inches. Oh. <laughs> Back to Cam Davis and uh, and Dave. We got to get an RWE win out here, okay? Thank you, Lavar. Great job. Show, show, show. Thank you, Tom. What's up with these guys and saying I'm a bad coach? I mean, he's got five rings for a reason, right? Hey, I think we have uh, I think we have another coach on the line. Coach Frazier, you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Now, last time we talked, things were not going so great. Scoreboard's looking a lot better now. What changed? Um, our defense changed. We changed our defense. Um, we started focusing on things that matter uh, versus us trying to play like we don't normally play. So we start focusing on what we do best, and that's defending. What were some of those changes on the defensive side? Uh, first of all, try to slow Cam Boozer down. <laughs> yes. That was it. On the offensive side, a lot of guys are getting involved. How'd you guys make the turnaround and have really kept your foot on the gas? Yeah, and, that, and that's who we are. We got to get out and run and transition, try to get stops and, and push out, man. And then we settled down, start executing our offense. The ball didn't stick. It was moving around. So, you know, hopefully we can continue to work on this and get it out of it. So now, we just got to keep working on it. There's a quiet battle going on between you and my man Davis next to me because every time Carter Knox takes a turnaround mid-range, Davis gets excited and you get angry. How do you find that balance with him of taking smart shots and, and taking shots that you know he can make but maybe aren't the smartest? A, man, y'all gotta call the foul, bro. Like, for real. Sato, match up. Knees. Under. <laughs> That's hard knocks. Oh, yeah, I, I hear you. That was terrible defense. Quan, Quan gotta guard him. Um, Cam, he the only one can guard him. Coach, I'm gonna let yes, you sir. go. Get back I'm, to the game. Okay. Appreciate you stopping by with us. Good luck rest of the way. Use it. Use it. Go guard side. Hold. Hold. Flash up. Flash up. Flash up. Flash up. Turn and look. Attack. Darian Sutton. Undercut. Hey, 
Let Quorum go. Yes, here we go. Take another look. You hear the horn. I believe we have the big bonus on the way. All right, so big bonus is this is your first time seeing a big bonus. We go five. Each non-shooting foul after the 15th foul enacts the big bonus. If you're an OTE vet, you know that by now. If you're new, this is one of the highlights, in my opinion, of OTE, one of the interesting rule changes that they have. 14 seconds, a one-man advantage. 100%. All right, Cam, who's taking it? I got Carter. Big Nate shooting. Carter, it's Carter. You gotta listen to me. Believe what I was saying. Yeah, you're right. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. You're right. You're right. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. Hey, Mr. Carter. Here we go. It is up to a 14-point game. And if they don't score right here, it can get ugly. Benny. Quick trigger. Quick trigger. Two for 16. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all be like, y'all be sure to like up the stream, man. We need about 14 more likes, man. We need, we need about 14 more likes. Go ahead and like it up. Davis drives, loses. Carter knocks. Carter knocks. Great take. Look, you have, you have. That's hey, too big down there. Too big. That's too big down there. That's a, that's a foul. There you go. That definitely was a foul. He pulled him down. See, that's what I'm saying. If you look at Cameron Boozer's face right now, he looks just about sick and tired of dealing with Sampto under yeah. the hoop <laughs> every single play. When you're using up that much energy on the defensive end, kind of tough to be aggressive on the offensive end. Big body, man. It sucks guarding that all game. That's a big body. Look at his face. He's like, yeah, I'm sick of this. <laughs> I'd be exhausted, too. Uh-oh. Samto, crowd. Hey, oh, hey, Samto, Samto shooting form looks good. Let me let me find out. Samto might be shooting three soon. Mm. <laughs> hey, the the crowd the crowd chants are starting to start. We want mellow. I hear I hear the we want mellow chants. I do hear that. I forgot to ask Coach Frazier about that. That's my bad. Hey, t hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Fellas, I'm with a very special person here. You're Monica, but I'm going to refer to you as Romello's mom, because that's what you said before. You're over here at OTE. For the, is this your first time out here for a game? No, first time seeing Romello. It's my first time uh, letting anybody know that I'm here. I'm always here. You know, that's my youngest son of three boys, and we have the two girls. So for us, it's really one of those things where it's about support. This is a big school with a lot of big, incredible, talented young men. And so for my son to come here at 5, 7, 15 years old in the 10th grade, it's a big deal. It's really cool. And he was a star last night. We had the whole gym screaming his name. You got to see his videos, I'm sure. What do you think about him playing last night? You know what? My baby always pushes. Um, one of the things that I love so much about Romello is his tenacity. You would never know that he's not seven feet tall. When he steps on the court, he takes over, and he doesn't think about anything except for the team and a team win. And that's what I love so much about him. I love to watch him play. I'm by all means his biggest fan, and I'm just waiting to see him get in. He's number one for a reason. He's one of one. Of course, and I saw you commenting on some stuff yesterday. Cam Wilder, was, was he... He's talking trash about Romello. What do we think about Cam Wilder? <laughs> Somebody better tell Cam. Romello got the mama that pulls up. Do you know what a pull up is? Do you know what it means when I say on site? <laughs> Cam and I have a great relationship. He's been really supportive of Romello. I love the way that they have this banter back and forth. The kids are chanting, we want Romello. But a lot of that comes from the fact that Cam really supported him and brought him into some of his games. And that's really how we ended up here. And I'm really excited about it. Damian, Coach Corey, everybody has just been pushing him to do his absolute best. And this is the happiest I've ever seen him. So it's exciting for me. That is awesome. I love it. We going to get a win today? RWE going to get a win? Oh, we're going to get a win. And Cam is going to go to the jewelry store. Because that's what he said. You heard him. He owes Romello a watch. It's legally binding when it's on camera, Cam. It's legally binding. <laughs> awesome. Monica, Romello's mom, thank you so much. Thank we'll get back to the game. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Yo, you're uh, done. So I don't remember ever, you know, I, I think I mixed my words up when I said the jewelry store. I think I meant the Claire's. 
Claire's is what I Claire's said. Claire's is a jewelry Claire's. store. I was going to get them some earrings, maybe some heart earrings. That is a jewelry store. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Yep. That is a jewelry store. Definitely Claire's. We have, we want Mellow Chance coming up. Chat, like up the stream right now if y'all want Mellow. We, hey, spam up the We Want Mellows in the chat. Spam up We Want Mellows in the chat, and, like, the chat up, and, like, and like it up. Spam it up. That's who we need. Hey, what I say? 8367, Alex. Mr. The Alex. Um, the lead has ballooned. Yeah, it seems as though, Alex, you're about to go one and two on your predictions as we get a crazy layup by Carter. You know uh, what? And now the Explorer is about to empty their bench, too. Yeah, man. That's what happened. Oh, oh, okay. He went for it. I looked down for two seconds and I missed. Okay. Crazy. He tried to test Sampto right there. Maybe that was a little bit of aggression. See, I see, I see how type of the chat, but you didn't like it the stream. We need 4,000 likes. Spamo, we want Melo in the chat. Let's do it. Chat, if y'all want Melo in the game, I need 4,000 likes right now. Everybody who's watching this stream, you better hit the like button. If you're watching the stream without hitting the like button, you're that's a problem. You're wild. It's a problem. It's a problem. Hit the like button right now. I see him now. I see him. I see you, Mr. Jim about to turn up now. Chat, asking you shall receive. The gym about to turn up now. Oh, yeah. How many points do we think Melo's going to score when he gets in, y'all? Ever yeah, maybe one. Now, crowd I getting lit. I, I hate to bring up the receipts. But I think something was said yesterday about the jewelry store. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's roll the tape. Uh, yeah, you got to hook up your whole team. If we win, I got the whole team. If we win, I got the whole team. Just the game? Both games. I need that. If we win, I got y'all. I need that. All right. Good luck tonight, guys. Uh, Mr. Wilder. Yeah, what's up? Care to comment? Um, yeah, so I said jewelry store, but I think it was Claire's. Uh, Claire's, you know. The whole team, though. It, it was Claire's for sure. Um, definitely not Icebox. Definitely not. Um, yeah, I, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I think Davis. Davis said he was going to support me if we go to Icebox. You were going to pay for half of the team. I did. I did. He did say half the team. Let's find some evidence of this. If we find evidence to back this up. He said it. He said it. I heard it. Yeah, it happened. I heard it. Right, because we rolled the tape yesterday, and then Davis said that's really charitable I'll yeah. go in 50. I'll go 50. nice guy yeah. you're a great guy the AMP difference baby yeah that, that's just not all right AMP difference the AMP charity we got Romello in the game okay let me let me see something okay is Cam standing on business that's a great question am I standing on business I got two feet in the ground standing on business and going to Claire's <laughs> Ball. I mean, uh, I just, I just saw one of the players on the Explorers grab Hype's leg. I don't know if that's legal, but um, all right. Nate. Oh my gosh. Uh, Randy Smith. Oh. Randy Smith, 6-3. Big Nate. Big Nate. I'm just letting y'all know. When Romello get that shot up, yeah. the building's going crazy. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a stack with y'all, all right? And if he hits it, they finna go stupid. He will, he will hit it. I think he will hit it. I heard his three-point percentage for his life is like 87%. Okay. Um, so that might be a little bit capped. Usually goes in. We got a big bonus once again. It is 5-1-4. The player that committed the non-shooting foul goes into the O. And they cannot come out until the ball either hits the rim. Big bonus time for RWE. Cam, who's taking it? I think Tyler Jackson will shoot this one, and he going to knock it down. Tyler oh. Jackson, Ooh. a little short. Thought I was a genie for a second. <laughs> oh, Romello. Oh. Great call, ref. Great call. <laughs> so is, are we gonna call Romello OTE's version of Nelson? Hmm. We gonna we gonna say that? 
just in terms of being a fan favorite? I love the bops. Yeah, fan Wait favorite bops. What happened here? So it looks like Romello got fouled, but somehow it's their ball. You get you get oh, two you points get, oh, on the foul. Big bonus. Okay. Romello with the rebound. We got two minutes remaining. Big Nate putting it on the floor. Oh, off the side of the back, but what do you got fouled? <laughs> Chat. Big Nate on the floor. I need like y'all. I need. I need y'all. I need y'all to give yourself a round of applause. Applause in the chat. Absolutely lit stream, man. Chat, we done hit 4,000 likes too. Did you even realize? Man. The chat did their thing today, man. 13,000. And 14,000 14, viewers. 14,000 viewers, man. I love it. I love it. Go ahead. Go ahead. It looks like 14,000 RWE supporters too. I mean, hey, listen, listen, listen. I need to see an RWE in the chat. Yep. If, you, if you're an RWE fan. If you're an RWE fan, I need to see RWE in the chat. If you're an Explorer fan, you, be, you better show up. I don't see too many Explorer fans in the chat. Let me see who. Let me see what's going on. I think it's just straight um, RWE at this point. It's better RWE if you're an RWE fan, Explorer if you're an Explorer fan, man. I ain't gonna lie. RWE, so far, it looks like they got it with the fan base, man. Yeah, for sure. Best supporters in the world, man. Best supporters in the world. And they didn't want to come out. Big Nate checks out. 15-point game, two minutes remaining. Cam, RWE going uh, a light pull court press here. There's a minute and a half left. Yeah, I like it. Uh, <laughs> keep these kids active. Make sure no buckets are easy. Can't have no easy buckets. Got to go have. Gotta no go easy buckets. Smoked it. Uh oh, okay. Get him out the game. Get him out the game. See, if I was on that sideline, I swear he would be on the bench right now. <laughs> the bench cannot get hey, enough. Hey, you know when the coach is like, go yep, get him. Yep, yep, go get, go yep. get him. That is a go shame. Get him. That is a shame. <laughs> I have no way. I hope, we have, I hope we have a shot of the bench after that happened. Hold on. Romello show. Romello. Romello. Driving, bringing it back out. Fly. You got to let it fly. Looking to pass. Wilkins. When he finds his stroke this season, man, I think he's going to be dangerous. Foul on Zach Dawson. He'll go to the line, number 20. Not just, not just a stroke, but I think when Wilkins starts gaining that confidence, when you know, see the ball go through the hoop a couple times in big spots, gain that confidence, you can tell he's going to be a great player. Love seeing the young bulls come out here with confidence, man. I love it. Last year, he was the youngest player to ever score at OTE. People around here rave about his IQ. Look at Big Lincoln, another young bull on the court. That's Lincoln Cosby. Oh, sure Wilkins. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. Okay. Don't do too much okay. now. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Hold on now. Hey, give him one more. Give him one more. I said give him one more. Okay. I said give him one more. Passes. Romello. Here we go. Next time. Romello. Puts him to Brian Kings in there. Let's not. Smash him up. Oh. Slips. Retains his dribble. Traffic, Wilkins, heavy three. Oh. 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 Brings it back out. For three. Wilkins. Oh. Do we have one more? Oh. Dawson. Oh, he smoked it. No, I'm not a smoke. Back to back smoke. That is an insane smoke lab right there. Hold on, wait a minute. Three, two seconds, two seconds, one and just like that. And that will do it. Entertaining last minute or two there. I mean, that game was over for well before that, but entertaining last minute. 94 75 is your final. RWE applied pressure in that second half.
Explorers looked great in the first quarter. They had RWE on the ropes, could not land the knockout punch, and RWE pulls away big time in the second half. So Alex, um, point win. I'm just gonna cut you off just for a Talk second. So Talk you said the Explorers are gonna win the game, yep. but it looks like they're on the losing end. So what happened? Um, look, look. Your RWE squad, you assembled uh, an impressive bunch. Show did you, you assembled an, an impressive bunch. GM of the year, you know what I'm saying? That's how I get down, man. That's how I get down. To Congrats get down. on the win, Taekwon. I believe we have Carter Knox joining us now as the Davis Dodds dude of the day. Carter, congrats on the win. You guys had a rough first quarter and then completely turned it around in the second quarter and really stepped on the gas in the second half. How do you guys turn to the run? First quarter, we came out sluggish. Uh, you know, we came out sloppy, you know, playing slow. But in the second half, we picked up to intensity, you know. Fred just told us to go out here and kill. So we went out here and killed. But we got to do a better job just killing them in the first half and just killing them for the whole game. 26 and 7 tonight. You looked amazing all weekend. How much confidence do you have going into the regular season? Because it looks like you're in mid-season form right now. Yeah, my confidence is very high, you know, uh, just working out every day and training hard every day. So the work is really starting to pay off. Are you the best high school player in the country? Yes, of course. Talk to no him. doubt. Talk no to doubt. him. Okay. Talk to him. No okay. Doubt. I like it. I like it. Carter Knox, 26-7. RWE wins this one by 19. It's been a hell of a week at the OTE Arena at the Cam Wilder Classic. Appreciate you being with us for all eight games this weekend. For Tom, for Cam, for Davis, I'm Alex Day. Appreciate you being with us. Regular season right around the corner. Peace.